Ladies and gentlemen, the Radio Hall of, Hall of Fame proudly inducts Mr. Herb Kent, the cool gent. I had to catch my breath after that. Two things I really can't do is give speeches and audition. But how are you this evening? You know, I was sitting there thinking to uh, get in the Hall of Fame. A lot of people have to help you get there, and I'd like to thank a few. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Barry Mayo, 103 and Don Moore and um, my uh, music director, Max Myrick, for letting me be creative and do my thing. I'd like to thank Evergreen for um, not changing the format when they bought the station. <laughs> it's a great outfit to work for. I'd like to thank Marv Dyson at WGCI. I'd like to thank Hugh Downs, who told me when I was young that I would be a great announcer. I'd like to thank my beloved mother. I'd like to thank uh, Bruce Dumont, I call him the Branch Ricky of radio, because <laughs> obviously why, all right? Um, found out that Bruce is one hell of a guy. I'd like to thank Brad Sanders for syndicating me in 30, 34 markets across the United States, and my daughter Robin, my grandson Evan, and Denise Jordan, who put me on every TV station in the world and every newspaper. Um, I like to uh, thank the many people have given me a hand when I needed one. And of course, there are many people that I could have named, I just don't have time. Uh, thousands of loyal fans and listeners, and of course, it's great to be alive to get this great honor. I'm truly blessed, thank you. <laughs> 